first match of Group E in the Whiskey World Cup 2022. Cole Ela against the Sazarak. Isla versus Rye. These are two very extreme opposites on the flavor palette. There's a reason why this is such a popular bottle and, and such a popular scotch, right? Sea salt with the smokiness, with the uh, the bacon in there, it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, it's interesting because I always looked at the, the Cool Isle as like a little brother to Ardbeg and Lafroig, but I've become more accustomed to it on the palate. We put it in the same league. It's a, oh, it's, 100%, uh, 100%. Going over to Sells Rock. It's almost like a maple syrup. Like it's a very thick kind of sweetness that goes over the rye. What do you like more? You want to hang out at the bayou uh, or, or you want to hang out in the, at the Atlantic coast in Scotland? It's well, I'd hang out tough. at the bayou. I think you're going to be pretty fucking bored if you're hanging out in the coast of Scotland. You know, unless you're like throwing rocks at seagulls and drowning yourself. <laughs> uh, this is kind of ridiculous to pick between the two, honestly. We designed this tournament. Uh, not we did, you know, the, the FIFA officials or whatever. <laughs> the WEC, World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab actually helped us design this tournament <laughs> and pick these two offerings here. But I, I went, uh, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous because they're both just like stellar offerings going in two different directions. To choose between them is very tough. At this moment, I'm, I'm going to go for the, the Sazerac. Why? Uh, it's really the, the full package. It's 45% too, which is nice, that little extra ABV. But you got the sweetness mixed in with the rye. It's a can't-miss combination. What do you think? Look, if you've got a sweet tooth, you're going to go for the Sazerac. If you really want to enjoy a mouthful, some peat in there, sea salt, everything else, that's a call out of your, your campfire. Be careful with this one. 45%, but caught me off guard. Usually doesn't happen. What, you the mighty dram? Yeah, the mighty drammed it by accident. <clears throat> I gotta give it. I, I gotta give it to Cole either. As much as I love the Suz Rock, yeah. I, I gotta give it to her. Hey, fair game, fair game. It's a tough choice. Um, but all right, we got a we got a one one draw to start off this group. Yeah, plenty of good matches on the way. Second match of Group E, Abafeldi, twelve versus Uberlauer, twelve. Not all that familiar with Aberfeldy, honestly. I mean, I've I've had a couple before. It didn't really stick out in my mind. I had a I had a couple of drams. I had the twenty one or before the eighteen yeah. or before. Uh, I played around with. I said it's a fantastic dram. Kind of a sweet floral, fruity nose. Now, Uberlauer, let's take a look. Ooh, it's a really nice nose. I gotta say, it's a double cast. Just I guess gives it a little bit some more complexity. Yeah, but in addition to the sherry. There's kind of like a rich, sweet porridge on the nose. I'm surprised the Abba Feld is kind of growing on me. This is crazy. The, the more I go back and forth between them, I kind of recommend you to do this. As going back and forth with two drams, trying them side by side, you discover so much more about the whiskey. It's kind of like, they call it like a Tabata, Tabata Circus in fitness, right? Where you do like this very intense workout for like, you know, 30 to 60 seconds. It's supposed to burn a lot of calories. It's kind of like what's going on here. It's really training for your palate. It's taking your palate to another level. So a lot of you sit there like in an abandoned basement and you drink a whiskey for 20 minutes, you proclaim how great it is, you kind of uh, surmise about the differences. No, 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 this is like, this is speed chess, okay? This is speed chess, it's a little bit different. So get your palate up to speed. <laughs> this is a battle. This is a you. battle, dude. Right? This, this is a battle. battle between these two. I gotta go for the Aberfeldy. Like, you know, the uh, the crown jewel of this distillery is the Abenda, in my opinion. That's true. That's right? true. That's true. Which is at a hefty sixty percent, depending on the which uh, 61, 62, 62, 61, 63, 64, I mean, each bottle I think is a little bit different depending which cast it came from. Um, but if you you compare it to this. You know, it's just no comparison. This is much weaker. So uh, in that way, I just, I'm kind of looking down on it a little bit, be, you know, which is not fair. Super close, but I have to agree. I'm going to go with the Aberfeldy. As it is, yeah. an opening match, 2 yeah. nothing. Yeah. Match three in Group E, Sazerac against the Uberlauer 12. The nose on the, on the, on the Sazerac a powerful rye just hits you right there, right? It's like flapjacks and rye. I gotta give it to those rock. It's like it's like a painting framed in gorgeousness. I mean, that there's that honey around. As you, it, it, it's sort of like you munch through the honey, you get through the honey, and then you get into the rye. 
and and it just explodes in your mouth. It's yeah, just it's like, and it might be the extra five percent alcohol in there. It's yeah. just it just got so much more on there. As as as, but the Uberlauer, my God. Oh. Um, I mean, looking at this, at the uh, the Sazerac over here, it's kind of like a Van Gogh painting, but it's just drenched in maple syrup and rye. And the problem over here with the uh, the April hour is it's a little bit lightweight. It doesn't have much on the mouthfeel if you put them head to head, you know. Extra five percent ABV, so I think that has a little bit of something to do with it. Nah. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm with the Sazerac all the way, you know. We're yep. taking we're taking this down the Bourbon Street. So two nothing win. Two nothing. There it is. Next match, very important uh, matchup here. Abfeld twelve from Scotland against the Sazerac. Rye out of Kentucky, but representing Bourbon Street essentially. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Let's get down well, to business. Seems a little, starting with Aberfeldy 12 here, nose full. Oh, vanilla cream, smooth, beautiful. Yeah, no, it's great that that light fruity nose. Uh, For me, the Sazerac takes it again. If you get if you get the uh, the Sazerac anywhere near like the penalty marker, like outside of the yeah. a little bit outside of the box, even on a free kick, it's so powerful that it's really gonna it's gonna drive it home. Both of them deserve to go into the next round, but it can only be one. It's a little like that old Highlander movie. I don't know if you guys have watched that, but uh, Christopher Lambert, the son of a Belgian di diplomat that was born in New York. Is a Highlander that you can't die, right? Yeah, so unless you get the head cut off by another Highlander. That's I don't true. know if that applies to Scott. Little known fact is that Highland whiskey is the only whiskey that can never go bad. The only way that it can go bad is if you cut off the top of the bottle, like you chop it <laughs> off, and then it dies immediately, it evaporates. <laughs> Christopher Lambert would agree. Yeah. yeah what was absolutely. he called in that movie? I forgot. I believe he was well, called Lorenzo reason. Lamas in that movie. <laughs> <laughs> And he rode a motorcycle. <laughs> I don't make him like llamas anymore. I, I gotta give it to the Sazerac. I'm sorry. Yeah. So what we got here is a two nothing for Sazerac. Yes. Done deal. Next next round. Group E battle between the Scotsman. So you got the Colila against the Aberfeldy Twelve. Aberfeldy Twelve, smooth. Mm. Colila, the 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 smokiness or oh, the the. the Smokiness, sea salt, town, caramel, engulfing. Oh, starting to think if you made like a, you, you fried an egg and you melted some cheese over it, and you had it with a little bit of cool ala, you could have a bacon egg cheese kind of sandwich. This is cool ala, really is. Uh, it's pretty, pretty, pretty phenomenal. It's tough, but I gotta give it to the cold either. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, yeah. there we go. All right, that's a two nothing then. So last match of Group E. Let's Winner see. will take it all, and the loser takes a fall. Cool ala. Matching up against the uh, Uberlauer. Uberlauer 12. After what I'm tasting here, the Coley that is. There's a certain distinction in class here, and that's not to diss the, uh, the Uberlauer, um, but the Kulala really, it, it's a level above, you know. Yeah. Different classes, of course, if, if you don't like the PD stuff, this will take it for you, but as somewhat of a fan of the, uh, the PD whiskeys, I would definitely go with the cool Isla. Yeah. This is a root. This is a root. This is like uh, Brazil versus Egypt or something like that. This is not really competitive. No offense to the Egyptians, you know. So the winner, final match, cool Isla.